In this video, we will show you how to file diesel fuel claims for refund and reports for the following. Diesel fuel claim for refund on non-taxable uses. Diesel fuel ultimate vendor report claim for refund and claim for refund on non-taxable sales and exports of diesel fuel. We protect all the confidential information you provide to us. First, go to the website, cdtfa.ca.gov, and at the top, select Login. That will take you to the CDTFA's Online Services Login page. To file a diesel fuel claim for refund, you must log in with a username and password. For assistance with creating a username and password, please watch our tutorials online. On the CDTFA Online Services login page, enter your username and password, then click Login. On the Online Services Profile page, under the Accounts tab, select the account for which you want to file a claim for refund. If you are filing a claim for refund on non-taxable sales and exports of diesel fuel, select the Diesel Exempt Seller hyperlink. If you are filing a diesel fuel claim for refund on non-taxable uses, select the Diesel Exempt User hyperlink. Or if you are filing a Diesel Fuel Ultimate Vendor Report claim for refund, select the Diesel Ultimate Vendor hyperlink. In this example, we are filing a claim for refund on non-taxable sales and exports of diesel fuel, so we will click on the Diesel Exempt Seller hyperlink. This will take us to the Diesel Exempt Seller account page. Please note, this is how it will also appear for the Diesel Exempt User and Diesel Ultimate Vendor account pages. Under the Periods tab, select the period for which you would like to file. In our example, we will file for the third quarter 2019 period, which is displayed by its return end date of September 30, 2019. Click the File Return hyperlink next to the period for which you are filing. Please note that all claim forms, reports, are referenced as returns. This brings us to the File Attachment page. The CDTFA has developed Excel templates for specific tax forms. These templates may be used to create a flat FLT file. FLT files were created for entities that may enter data manually in software applications like Excel or Access. You can download the appropriate template by clicking here. If you need more information, you can click here to visit the Motor Fuels online filing webpage, where you may read the Motor Fuels flat, FLT, and EDI filing guide and view other helpful resources. After downloading the template, ensure that macros are enabled by selecting Enable Content or by following the steps provided on the General Information tab. The General Information tab includes general instructions for general data entry, completing your cover and schedule worksheets, and general information regarding your specific claim form. Specific instructions for your applicable template and links to other resources, including instructions on completing schedules, are provided on the Instructions tab. Complete the schedule on the Schedule tab first, referring to the Instructions tab as needed. View an example of a completed schedule by selecting the Examples tab of our Motor Fuels Flat FLT file and EDI filing guide. Next, as an option to help you complete your return and calculate the tax due, prepare the Tax Refund Computation Worksheet, located on the Diesel Tax Refund Computation tab. Next, you will complete the return located on the Cover tab. If you've completed the Diesel Tax Refund Computation Worksheet, enter those figures into the corresponding cells on the Cover tab. Review the General Information tab for detailed instructions for completing the cover worksheet. Once you have completed the cover worksheet, save your file with the data input for this claim form for your records. Next, you will create an FLT file. From the Instructions tab, click on the cell, press Enter to create FLT file, and press Enter. You will be required to identify a file name and location for your flat file. Once you complete the template and create the flat file, click the Add button on the File Attachment page. Enter a description. You can enter any description you like. We do not have any file naming conventions. 
In this example, we entered the description of September 2019. Then select Choose File to upload your flat file. Next, click the Save button. Your file will now appear under the Attachments header. If there is an error, you can click the Remove hyperlink, make corrections to your flat file template, create a new flat file, and re-add the file if needed. After uploading the flat file, we will proceed by clicking Next. On the summary page, review the information displayed. Any rates reflected in this example are for illustration purposes only. Please visit our website for current rates at cdtfa.ca.gov. If you need to make corrections, click the Previous button to return to the applicable pages to edit information. If everything is correct, click Next to proceed. Enter the required information to certify your claim and click Submit. When you click Submit, a window will appear to confirm your intent to file electronically and that your return is true, correct, and complete. Please read the information carefully. Enter your password and click OK to submit. This will serve as your authorization and confirmation. You will not receive a confirmation email. This confirmation page represents your filing only. We recommend that you print this page for future reference. To print your submitted claim for refund, click on the Print Return button. If you still have questions, please call our Customer Service Center at 1-800-400-7115, California Relay Service at 711.